Well, good morning. I'm here at the National Farm Machinery Show, and uh, for a lot of people here in uh, North America, U.S. and Canada both, we're getting a chance uh, to show customers for the very first time the new S9 series combine. First thing, of course, as you, as you take a look, uh, the first thing you notice on that new S9 combine is the new Vision Cab. The Vision Cab is a, uh, a four-year project that we've had, and it's really involved with changing really uh, a lot of the controls inside the cab, trying to make it easier for the customer, make it more intuitive uh, for him, and uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So really in essence, the Vision Cab is the first thing you notice when you obviously walk up, but there's a lot of other things that are really important. And I want to mention here, first of all, on the, uh, on the, on the feeder house, uh, one of the things that you notice, first of all, is that we've, we've lengthened the feeder house by roughly about 4.8 inches. And uh, what that's allowed us to do is give us more visibility to the front, make it easier for hookup uh, of headers and what have you. But very importantly, it's also given us more room for, for, the, for the vision cab. The vision cab is a much larger uh, cab structure, so we needed the room in there, and uh, that 4.8 inches had helped us a lot. But the one thing I really want to talk about for, for Canada especially is what we did in the feeder house area. This is a big one. So what we have done on here is right now, I call it the feeder house optimization uh, package that we've done in here. And what you'll, you'll notice in here right now is that uh, if you're in canola, uh, and, and obviously in Canada there's a lot of canola growing up there, you'll see a huge capacity difference in canola with this machine. And what we have done in here is we've actually opened that area up and level the inside of the feeder house area. And uh, what this has done is given us substantially more capacity. And by doing that, it gives us the capability right now to take advantage of now uh, greater capacity advantages in canola. So if you're in very heavy, gnarly canola up there, you're gonna find the new S9 series uh, and the new optimization package that we've incorporated in the feeder house is gonna give them huge gains there. So that's a, that's a big, big change right there. Uh, as we as we start to walk back in the combine, you're going to see a major difference in electronics. So what we've done in here, if we start to kind of walk through here, you'll see a lot of uh, things on the cab that we've incorporated. And you'll see uh, right now uh, when you climb in the cab, we'll talk about it here in a little bit. Uh, we've done away with the EIP up in the cab roof, and that whole area has been opened up. And now you'll see a lot of use of what we refer to as VMMs and MVEX on the unit. These are these devices here. So what's happened now is we've gone more to electronics to make it easier for the customer, you know, and make it uh, more uh, easier uh, for uh, uh, adjustments and what have you. So as you start to walk around here, you'll see uh, things like back right here. You'll see a, a pod located back here on the on the rear, where now you'll see the electronics uh, for things like, for example, our chaffer and sieve adjustment, uh, things like we have back here for lights and so on and so forth, are conveniently put in a pod that's easier for the operator to uh, access. A, a lot of things th that you'll see on the on the uh, combine going forward will relate back to what we're doing right now on the cab. So we're going to. We're going to talk about some of those, and I'll get into a little bit of that here with you. So we're now inside the new Vision cab, and I'm sitting here in the comfort of one of the widest and the largest cabs now that you're going to find in the industry today. The first thing you notice in here is that this took us four years to develop, and the first thing you notice in here is the expanse of glass area that we have in here now. Uh, we've eliminated the B post, and now the A post has been shifted uh, rearward here. So now the, uh, the customer out there that's running a, a big header uh, has total uh, uh, visibility to the header right now that he never had before. The first thing you'll notice as I sit in this cab is how wide it is and how large it is. You'll notice now the, old, the EIP that we used to have up here is all gone. It's all in incorporated into the new Titan terminal. And remember, the Titan terminal... Uh, the Titan Terminal was basically uh, developed uh, in collaboration with our, our FENT tractor group in Germany. And so this is the first time customers will find that we're no longer going to be using the EIP up in the cab roof. It's all right here in the terminal. So the first thing uh, you notice when you're in the, in the comfort of the cab is, is the comfort you have right here on the hydro handle. So if you notice here how easy it is to navigate through everything that's located right here. So. In essence, if the customer is sitting in here, in, in the comfort of this cab, everything is at his fingertips. 
You'll notice over here on the Titan terminal now, uh, you'll see that we now give the customer two choices uh, with mapping. Uh, he can either get the, the uh, mapping that is called FieldStar Plus, or he can get uh, from AgLeader um, the mapping option uh, as well. You'll notice in here how easy everything is to see, how all of the navigating through here is improved dramatically. The big thing we want customers to understand is how intuitive this is and how easy it is for them to, to, to literally walk through. This cab actually has four quadrants in it, and you'll see that right now we're using three, and the whole bottom here is the mapping. So you can see here, we actually have the mapping software in here. So you can actually see now uh, the, the yield map that we have here. You'll see here, if I want to go in here and, and actually uh, work here, you'll see that we have two cruise control functions that are incorporated in here now. So just like you have on your tractor, you can set two different cruise control speeds, uh, which is really nice for our operators. Uh, in addition to that, they also have the capability you can see here uh, to look at uh, auto guide. And you can see here, they have the capability to walk through and, and actually uh, control everything right here uh, from the operator seat. What's, in, what's great to see here is you'll notice in here the throttle. And if you notice across here, those functions that are very, very important, you've got your, uh, your header clutch, your separator clutch, your rear wheel assist, but now for the very first time, there is no parking brake. Parking brake has now been incorporated here into the uh, uh, handle right over here. So now I don't have to be down here reaching. It's all done electronically. We've got rid of the cable, we've got rid of the linkage. Everything now is quiet and uh, much easier for the operator to use.